I'm Meg McNamara. Thanks so much for checking out this CBSBaltimore.com update. We are quiet here on the radar. So we did have some heavy thunderstorms moving through this afternoon. We had flash flood warnings. That is no longer the case, and we should be dry through the overnight hours and for tomorrow as well. As for temperatures, so we've certainly cooled down into the 70s here. Baltimore at 73. Keep in mind, though, we only hit 78 today. That was the high thanks to the clouds and the rain. This cold front will push through tomorrow. How However, we are not expecting any rain tomorrow. That was obviously not the case. This front, there was a good amount of storms associated with that. So here we are tonight at midnight. The heavy cloud cover gone at this point as well. Really pretty quiet through the overnight hours, clear. And then 7 a.m. Should be a nice drive in for work for you. That pushes through. And we don't see clouds, though, really returning until Thursday morning. Now, Thursday later on in the day, there is a chance for rain, it looks like, in the afternoon and evening hours. A best our best chance for rain, though, is on Friday. And that would be because this front is going to move through, so we'll see some storms ahead of it. Once that pushes through, we should be nice and quiet, though, for Saturday. Sunday's looking good as well. Want to bring you the latest here on Hurricane Gert. So, maximum sustained winds 80 miles an hour. It is moving north northeast. We'll turn to that northeast direction, though, by tomorrow. Stay well away from the U.S., so that's certainly good news. The computer model is very much in agreement about that northeasterly track. Do want to mention, though, that because of the strong winds obviously associated with GERT, that could bring us some dangerous conditions on the water. So, really, not a good time to be swimming. We're talking dangerous rip currents. We also have Invest 91. This has a 40% chance of formation. Is expected to continue this move to the west. Should be in the Caribbean Sea by Friday. As for speed, right around 15 to 20 miles an hour. If you're taking the boat out tomorrow, southeast winds right around five knots. Tonight, we're eventually going to cool down into the upper 60s. And then tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds. More sunshine, though, than clouds. We're headed for 90. Keep in mind, though, thanks to that lovely humidity, that 90 is going to feel more like 94. Storms to wrap up the work week. I think they'll clear out, though, in time for the weekend. I'm Meg McNamara with an update coming up on WJZ.